Okay. I'd done a lot of seeking pretty terrible things like theosophy and all these sort of intellectual seeking, getting completely lost and very damaged. And I'd come back to London, I'd been out of London for a few years. I was feeling very unhappy, very depressed and quite unwell. And um, I even took a day off work, I was feeling so depressed, I'd never done that before in my life. And I was sharing a, a house with two or three other people and one of them said, I've seen this advertisement in the newspaper, a uh, time out, for this Indian lady who's giving a talk at Caxton Hall. And I said, well, I'm, I'm not going to anything like that. I've just been so damaged, no way. And she went. And that night when she came back, I noticed she looked different. There was a little bit of colour in her face and she just looked more alive. And I thought, hmm, I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, she went again and I was actually pretty, very unwell then. And I said, oh, would you buy me some fruit on your way back from work? And she said, OK, I'll do that, but I'm, I'm going to Caxton Hall, so I'll be back a bit later. I said, that's fine. And um, she came in at late in the evening and she gave me some grapes. And I ate a grape and it was so alive, so sparkling, I began to feel better. I just felt it was tingling with life and vitality and I just thought, this is just what I need. And I called her, I said, where did you get these grapes? She said, well, um, I bought them in the market, but this Indian lady at Caxton Hall, she gave me a lemon and I put it in the same bag as the grapes. Mm -hmm. Obviously they were vibrated. Mm -hmm. So the next visit, I, I went with her. I objected and she just said, I know I have to take you to see this lady. You just better come. So I did. And um, in those days, she would work on us individually. She'd, she'd um, come down from the stage and, and see each person. And when she came to me, um, this, this um, flatmate was also there and said, oh, could you help my friend? She has some problems. And she might have looked straight into me and she said, where is your father? Where is your mother? And I explained that my father had died and that my mother hadn't spoken to me for some years for various reasons. And then she worked on me and I just felt the most amazing rush, an upward rush, and then total silence and stillness. And I can only say I felt that the weight of the whole world had been lifted from my shoulders. I couldn't even speak until the next day. I had to go home in silence and just such inner excitement at this new state of awareness. And then she invited me around to her house a few days later and she said to me, you must write to your mother. And I said, I've written to my mother, but she didn't answer. She said, just write to your mother. So I did. And my mother answered by return of post. <laughs> said, come and see me. And then from then on, our relationship healed. <laughs>